Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the Endless Runner tutorial. So in this one we do quite a lot of things. So the first thing we did is we got uh, we got rid of the plane we had and we actually start spawning stuff a little bit earlier on. So as you can tell that's my starting view. Then it goes back in this mode. Then we also create the random function so it always creates some new tiles. As you can tell, so the first one is a normal bridge, the second one is a double bridge into a normal, into a single barrel and it just keeps going like this. Um, we also delete the tiles behind the player as well so we don't go out of memory. So we clean up after ourselves. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is first get rid of that plane, that first starting plane, and then after that we're gonna make sure we also delete some bridges. Because right now if we just keep on going forever, again we're gonna get some kind of out of memory um, exception because this bridge is still there and we're still creating new forever. So guys, let's go ahead and just um, turn off this plane right now. Not turn off, but completely delete it. Now of course when we press play, this is not something we want to see. We don't want to see this down here. So what we're going to do is actually bump up, or I mean bump down, the spansy in our tile manager script. So spansy, let's go ahead and make sure it is equal to minus 12, which is pretty much just a tile length. So if we do that, now if we press play, we are actually spawning a bridge right there at the very beginning. And exactly here this is where we spawn we spawn at the end of that bridge so maybe we could actually be putting it on say minus six instead it really depends on your liking and also what your camera sees at the beginning so with minus six I'm actually fine this is actually what I see and am I close to seeing the end of it I'm not sure actually so I've got this much distance which is fine with me okay so um, once that is done, we are going to go ahead and just make sure we delete some tiles. So it's fairly simple. As you can tell right now, we have a moment at one point where we trigger a function that spawns a new one. When that function is called, we could actually use the same code, um, the code area to delete a new tile. So right here, this is when it happens. When we cross a certain point, we create a new tile. At the same time, let's go ahead and delete a tile. So we're gonna do delete tile just below that. So we've got the, the spawn tile function. Now let's go ahead and write the private void delete tile. Like this. Oops. But now we've got one problem. We never actually keep track of which tile um, we have and which tile exists. So we are going to create a list containing all that information. So, in order to use lists in Unity, well not in Unity, in uh, C Sharp in general, you gotta go up here and say using system.collection.generic. Now we're now allowed to use the list type. So we got this up here, we are going to declare a new field, a private list of game object that we're going to call, say, active tiles, like this. And the thing with lists is that you have to instantiate them before you use them. So we could be saying right here in the declaration is equal to a new list of game object like this. Well, I'll just keep this for the start. So active tiles, I'll leave it like that here. And I'll just, in the start, I'll say active tiles is equal to a new list of game object. Okay, so whenever we spawn a tile, let's go ahead and just put it inside of a list. So active tiles dot add and we're gonna add go like so. And whenever we wanna delete something, we're just gonna take the first element of the list and destroy it. So destroy active tiles at the index zero and, and once we destroy the game object, we gotta be removing it from the list. So active tiles dot remove at, remove at the index zero like this. Let's have a look at this in the game. I'm going to press play, then look from inside of here. 
and as you can tell our behavior pretty much works but we do have some error in terms of um, well this player in general we shouldn't be uh, destroying the tiles so early on so what we're gonna do is actually go and declare ourselves a save zone so we are going to go up here anywhere up here and I'll say private float save zone is now equal to say something like 15 and now before we actually call this if statement we're gonna say player transform that position dot Z minus save zone now this way it should wait another 15 meters before actually deleting the object so that's three seconds and as you can tell we now get a normal behavior so that's pretty much how it should be acting in the first place but um, there's also one more thing that we need to fix with this pretty much this, this style manager and it is the fact that it pretty much always bound the same exact bridge so we need to add some random in there okay so what I'm going to do in this case is um, I'd like my random because we're gonna be coding our own random function I'd like my random to never actually pick the last prefab I had since I only have three I don't want to have the same prefab twice uh, happening in a row so what I'm gonna do up here is I'll say private int last prefab index is equal to zero in this case and uh, I just leave that here for now and then we're going to go ahead and just declare ourselves another function down here let's declare a private int random prefab index which is not going to take in anything as a parameter but it is going to use the field up here so that last prefab index field so we're gonna say if tile prefab let's start with a safety check so if tile prefab dot length is smaller or equal to one then let's return zero so if there is only one prefab in the list let's just go ahead and return um, the first one and we are going to go ahead and just say oh actually declare a random index so int random index which is going to be our return value as well is equal to last prefab index and now we're gonna say while random index is equal equal to that last prefab index so we're sure that it's going to run this at least once so as long as we have the same exact index that we had previously we're gonna say random index is equal to random which is a static uh, type dot range uh, not type sorry class and then we're gonna do uh, get me a number in between 0 and also the length of the array so tile prefab dot length now if it chooses the same exact um, prefab as we had last time then it's gonna come back in the while statement because it's still this is still true and at one point it's going to pick something different and when that happens we're gonna say a last prefab index is equal to random index and we're gonna return that random index as well oops random index like this okay now all we got to do is take this and replace our instantiate so we instantiate tile prefab at the index random prefab index oops random prefab index like this and now it should pretty much spawn some random uh, bridge okay so we've just got an error but as you can tell we're spawning different bridges now so that's um, that's the second one that's the one with two barrels that's the one with one barrel that's the one with two barrel that's the one with one barrel do we still get the normal bridge oops and I think we do get yeah right here we got a normal bridge so we get all three types right now and that's exactly what we'd like to have the only problem we have right now is at the beginning we can't control our player but he's still hitting on some barrel he's still like getting um, the wrong prefab every time we spawn our level we'd like him to have the clean bridge the one that has nothing on it so not this one not this one not this one and it could actually go on for quite a long time actually so um, I'm just going to fix it 
what we have to say is remember right here we said spawn tile and if tile well not if we don't define what is the prefab index then it's going to be equal to minus one which is what we want most of the time we want it we want this to be equal to minus one because that means just pick me a random one it in our own logic that means just pick me a random one so right here we're gonna say if prefab index is equal is equal to minus one so if it is equal to minus one go ahead and run our code this code the one we just created else if it is not equal to minus one then let's just go ahead and say go is equal to instantiate and we instantiate tile prefab at the index prefab index the one we get in parameters this one and it's not going to be equal to minus one because if it was going to be equal to minus one then it would be running this code instead so as game object and we should now be good to go so this is going to work now we're going to make sure that at the very beginning so that's over here if say i is smaller than two so if i is smaller than two go ahead and spawn me tile zero else just spawn some random tiles so we know that this is going to be run seven times and the two first times the two first iteration it is going to spawn a normal bridge every single time so let's hit play on this and have a look going to hit pause and that's the first bridge right here so normal bridge and the second one is also a normal bridge if we keep going our animation is now complete and we're now ready to dodge some barrels like so and that pretty much concludes it for this episode guys thanks a lot for watching if you learned something or if you enjoyed the video please leave me a like i really appreciate that if you have any comment or question you can also leave them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible other than that uh, subscribe for more I'll be making a lot more in the future, so guys, thanks a lot for watching once more, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.